The Greenock Blitz is the name given to two nights of intensive bombing of the town of Greenock, Scotland by the Nazi German Luftwaffe during the Second World War. The raids over the nights of 6 and 7 May 1941 targeted the shipyards and berthed ships around the town similar to the Clydebank Blitz the previous March. The brunt of the bombing fell on residential areas. Over the two nights, 271 people were killed and over 10,200 injured. From a total of 180,000 homes, nearly 25,000 suffered damage and 5,000 were destroyed outright. The attack began around midnight on the 6th of May when around 350 German bombers attacked the town. Bombs fell all over the town and surrounding area, serious damage being inflicted on East Crawford Street and Belleville Street. Many civilians fled to the tunnels in the east end of the town, significantly reducing casualties the next night. Air raid sirens at 12:15 a.m. on the 7th of May marked the beginning of a second night of bombing. Initially, incendiary bombs were dropped around the perimeter of the town. The second wave attacked primarily the east end and center of Greenock. The distillery in Ingleston Street had been set alight in the first wave, causing a huge fire which acted as a beacon for the rest of the bomber force. The final wave came around 2 a.m., dropping high explosive bombs and parachute landmines which caused widespread destruction. At 3.30 a.m. the all clear sounded but a large area of the town was in flames. The sugar refineries, distillery and foundries were all extensively damaged, and several churches were left as burnt out shells. However, damage to the shipyards was minimal. Decoy site An Air Ministry decoy starfish site behind Loch Tom prevented the number of casualties being even higher. The decoy was lit on the second night of the Blitz. It consisted of a large number of mounds of combustible materials scattered over a wide area of the moorland to simulate a burning urban area. Scores of large bomb craters were found after an inspection of the decoy after the air raids. Topic. George Medal Three local firemen were awarded the George Medal, Firemaster A.S. Pratton, Substation Officer William Neal and Fireman James Berry, who entered a burning building and at great personal risk managed to control a blaze which threatened to destroy a quantity of material essential to the war effort. <laughs> 